Gregory Burns, Griffin Rock PD. Please pull over. You love doing that, don't you, Dad? <laughs> Won't have many more chances. This is the last month between me and a lifetime of fishing trips. I wish you weren't retiring. I agree with Cody. I do not believe Deputy Barney will be a satisfactory partner for me, sir. Now, Mr. Patty Paws, you know that's jaywalking. This is your fifth ticket this week. We'll look into other options. <gasps> Whoa. Is that Danny? She's way off her test flight route. And early. Knowing your sister, that can't be good. Goodness, Danny's safe. Multi-emergency downtown, team. Already on it, Chief. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. You say they were poking the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Clear the area. The rest of you know the drill. Like the back of my hand. Smooth and unblemished. Which translates to, we're headed for the fire. Still think jets are more fun than helicopters? <laughs> I missed you too, Blades. Mayor, you might want to try a restaurant for lunch today. This is why I hate nature. Fire break? You read my mind, buddy. pilot license back. You call that flying a plane? I call it testing a prototype, and that one obviously has some bugs. I'm just glad the ejector seat worked. I've lost track. How many water tower floods has that been? Seven. Technically six. The seventh was an above-ground pool. Emergencies never challenge us anymore. Not complaining. And that's why I'm hanging up my badge. You're all ready to handle whatever this town throws at you. But Dad, just put it off a little if longer. It's in charge. <laughs> With all due respect, sir, Optimus assigned us to you. Until you achieved your mission to become perfect partners with us, which you have. What about Optimus's other order? To stop pretending we're robots? It has been years since he gave us permission, Heatwave. And our rescues would be much more efficient if we could simply talk to everyone. We're not talking to anybody until I decide we're ready. End of discussion. <laughs> Wait. First, you hate acting like a machine. Now you don't want to stop? Talk about a roll reversal. You want a roll reversal? Try walking home. Nope. Same old heat wave. Ah! 
Land-based baby toys from now on, Doc. It, it was. Celine reprogrammed it. She's going to be an amazing scientist when she grows up. <laughs> oh! If we can keep her out of trouble until then. I can't even keep her out of my room. We'd better work on our science fair project outside. There. Our listening telescope is all ears. With this tech boosting the signal, we'll detect alien radio waves better than SETI. I hope so. It's been weeks and the most exciting thing I've heard is a meteor shower. The Griffin Rock Lab's been sending messages into space for years. We're bound to hear from aliens soon. Like every time we talk to the bots? I know, not helping our project. Actually, I bet their ship has a record of alien contact. That would tell us where in space to point our radio wave detector. I'll ask Heat Wave. Science Fair first place, here we come. You can hang it here, Dr. Burns. I just sold this one online. Art Lover Puppies 37 says, I have a unique, almost alien style. Forget the degree. Check this baby out. Most hamburgers eaten in one sitting, a okay, K Burns. Is that frame made out of French fries? Ah, Cody, may I read you the latest passage in my book, The Competent Detective? Sure, Chase. After I talked it to you. It was 6.20 in the morning. The detective knew this because he looked at his watch, which told the time, not out loud, with numbers. Also, the sun was up. This is Heat Wave to Optimus Prime. Come in, Optimus. God. Still not answering, huh? Yeah, for months. I know he's busy, but I just wish I could ask him. Yes, Heatwave? Sir, I wasn't expecting... I mean, uh, how are things? Never boring. Which is why I have a new mission for your team. I'm sending a transmission now that details your orders. Good luck. Wait, Optimus, we... Still haven't finished your last orders. To tell the humans of Griffin Rock who we are? I am aware. And you will know in your spark when the time for that is right. Oh, that's perfect. I finally make contact and I still don't know what to do. Well, what do you want to do? That's not that easy. Once we admit we're aliens, there's no going back. What if the humans don't trust us, or worse? Yeah, big changes are scary and hard. The other bots don't see that. They think I worry too much. And I should just follow Optimus's orders. Well, if you're trusting your spark, sounds to me like you're doing exactly what he wants. Thanks, Cody. Now, is there something you want? Oh, yeah. Can I look at the Sigma's radio files to... Wow. I think you got your new mission. I know those coordinates. That's the bunker on the mainland. And these look like blueprints for a transforming building. According to the diagram, it is an advanced Cybertronium base on Earth. That's not all. Watch. The time has come to expand your ranks. Work with the humans of Griffin Rock to build this new academy. Use it to train and teach future rescue bots. The schematic requires a combination of human and Cybertronian technology. Before we start construction, we should talk to Doc. First thing tomorrow. It's a little late for a family with a toddler. Huh? <gasps> a radio signal coming from our solar system, but like nothing we've heard. Computer, send contact message. Greetings, Griffin Rock welcomes you. We are a peaceful species. Turn on your translators and prepare to attack. Cody, I picked up a new signal on the radio telescope last night. And when I sent out the welcome message, somebody got it! Seriously? What did they say? Well, 
Uh, nothing. But at least we know we made contact. Maybe Boulder can look at the return signal for clues. And that's a micro ground bridge. Once he's not so busy. It will let us travel directly from the firehouse to the training center on the mainland. If we can figure out how to build it, Cybertronian science is advanced. I'll get started on test models right away. This project is huge. Optimus was right. We'll need every person on Griffin Rock to build it. And to help in disclosing our true identities to them, I have taken the liberty of making these informative pamphlets. Everything you wanted to know about Autobots but were afraid to ask? I say we bring everyone into the park for cake. Only there's no cake and we jump out and yell, surprise! How do you think we should tell the humans that we're aliens, Heatwave? Who said we're telling them? But the new order. Okay, fine. There's cake too. I we'll work with humans, the ones we already know. Our new mission doesn't change anything. It changes everything. What are you so scared of? How long are we going to wait? <sighs> I'd rather be cautious now than regret it my entire life. <laughs> Griffin Rock Emergency. What's wrong, Mr. Alper? The mayor didn't show up to work today. I checked his house, and there's no sign of Mrs. Lusky or Poopsie either. <sighs> I'll fly over the island. Let you know if I spot any rogue toupees. Why won't Heatwave let us admit we're aliens? We'll fit in with humans. Boulder paints, chase rides, I watch TV. Oh, I've even seen Heatwave doing yoga. I think he's right to be cautious. Danny, you're supposed to be on my side. I am, but I know humans. If they saw you bots as a threat, they'd kick you off the island. Forever. Oh, good point. Whoa, what's that? I'm guessing not the mayor. Well, it's a dome, all right, but not his. What is that thing? Take us down. I want a closer look. I'll check it out. Be right back. No way. A spaceship? <gasps> the hall's architecture section should give us some ideas for building your training center. Oh, I'm sorry, but this museum isn't actually open right now. Huh. I don't think you're from around here. Graham, run! Oh, come on. Can't we just get my burgers to go? I don't do drive through You always drop onion rings in places I can't reach. Fine. Next time, I won't share. Everyone, I lost Danny. Lost her? How? She went to go look at something in the woods, and then she was gone, and this giant spaceship took off? Spaceship? Blades, where are you? The forest near Mount Griffin. <sighs> Servo and Graham were gone, too. Some kind of creatures webbed them up and took them. Uh, did they have teeth sticking out of their noses? Yes. How did you know? I'm looking at them. Easy, Fang Schnoz. You do not want to challenge the hamburger champion. <laughs> Kate! It's the Velgrox! Don't let them whip you! That is the plan. Look out! See? I told you they were among us! I was right! I was so right! And you didn't believe me! Those things are everywhere. Chase, what are the Veldrox? Currently a pain in my bumper. Spread out, team. We need to find Danny, Graham, and Kate. They're safe, for now. From what I've heard, the Velgrox web their prey and keep them for days. And then what? Dinner. We need to find their ship. Yeah! We're gonna kick some Velgrox Heine! Or whatever they have for Heinies. I'll call Doc. 
If the lab's still safe, we'll meet there. Power up our starship. This will be our base, from which we shall conquer more of this planet. Leave this one for me. He smells of ketchup. does. Trex is patrolling the perimeter for those creatures. The question is, where did they come from? Well, we were trying to make alien contact for our science fair project. You think we just invited hungry aliens to attack Earth? Oh, they can't all be rescue bots. Wait, when you contacted the Belgrox, did you get a response? Just to ping back that the message was received. I think I can use that to find their starship. And our family. Of course! If we resend the same message, the alien's craft should ping us back like it did before. And we can use that answer to triangulate their coordinates. Uh, but to resend the message, someone has to go outside and turn the satellite dish back on. There! Transmission sent. And response received. I'll upload it to the lab computer. Uh, they're here! <gasps> Trex! We got the Vilgroxes transmission. I'm pinpointing its source. There, the power plant. Then that's where we're headed. <laughs> Noble, you scared them away. It was almost like they knew you. Not me, my species. In the histories, Velgrox aren't exactly friends with Cybertronians. Well, I'm not feeling very friendly toward them either. It looks like the Velgrox took Doc and the Professor. You kids lock yourself in the lab safe room. Cody, stay on the comm and call the mainland bots for backup. The rest of us are going on a rescue mission. It seems you may have picked the wrong month to retire, Chief. They're diverting power from the plant to recharge their starship. They must be planning to leave. It appears they're still packing. We have to get everyone out of there now. Heatwave, can you distract the Velgrox long enough for me to sneak inside? With pleasure. And I'll disconnect their ship. Come on, team. I think we need to have a little chat with our Velgroxian visitors. Hi. cocoons as you can. <sighs> the children? They're safe. Gather the townsfolk near the exit. Hurry. speak their language, but I would guess that is not a friendly greeting. Ugh. Stand back! This one's for Danny! Yeah! Our apologies, Metal Ones. We did not know this is your planet. Heatwave! Don't you feel it in your spark? If this isn't the right time, nothing is. It's not our planet. It belongs to the humans, and we are their protectors. <gasps> Understood. We will leave once we have fully powered up our starship with just enough food to keep us for the journey home. This one could feed us for days. 
tempting. But how about you leave now, don't take any humans, and never come back? Final offer. I'd take him up on that. He's not big on negotiating. That one's mine. Ugh, took you long enough. She sleeps through aliens, but a little cheering. I hope that's the last we see of the Velgrox. It will be. When I checked their ship for humans on board, I took out their nav system. They'll never find their way back here. Chief Burns! Uh-oh. Here comes the part where they chase us with pitchforks. But, but we just saved them. Surely they know that we are different aliens than the Velgrox. Fear makes humans unpredictable. You sly old dog! I knew there was more to these robots! <laughs> you saved us! Still want to retire? I might have enough to keep me busy around here for a long time. Can I get your autograph? <laughs> Just a few more close-ups. The biggest story of my career has to be perfect. Who could imagine that the tiny island of Griffin Rock, Maine would be home to an event that will change history forever? The invasion of an evil alien race, stopped by our own beloved rescue bots, who in the process of saving their adopted hometown are revealed to be, are you ready for it? Aliens themselves. Even this seasoned hard-hitting reporter who has covered everything from Bake Offs to Bolsheviks was shocked by the revelation that these robots in disguise have been living among us. And as Griffin Rock prepares itself for the gaze of every eyeball in the world, the question on everyone's lips is, what, what will, will happen, happen next? Genius! Hello, CNM BNSC. It's Huxley Prescott, Griffin Rock. Yes, the crawfish races reporter. But this is a much bigger scoop. I'm uploading it to your satellite now. Oh, you'll be interested, all right. The whole world will be interested in this story. A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. He's been a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human servant. Don't worry, rescue bots. Plenty of room in the spotlight for both of us in three, two. His Honor the Mayor, blah, 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 with an emergency town meeting at City Hall to discuss the fate of the rescue bots in our town. Hmm. Fame will have to wait for the late news. Look at all the bots who've gone for us! Where I'm starting to wonder if I made the right choice by revealing what we are. Sure you did. It was time. I do not understand. Aren't the Griffin Rock citizens willing to keep our secret? Most of them, yeah. But the mayor and a few other people might not be on board. That's why Dad called this meeting. All it takes is one person to talk. Next thing you know, the whole world is coming to gawk at us. Or worse. Hey, if humans suddenly showed up on your planet, you might not take kindly to it either. But people in Griffin Rock are used to... Weirdness? I was going to say advanced technology. Danny's right. People are accepting here. Look at all the great welcome gifts everybody's given us. What I believe humans refer to as fruit baskets. I don't have the spark to tell them we don't eat. <laughs> They're still learning about you. It might take a while. All right, quiet down, please. Everyone will get a chance to express their opinion, starting with Mayor Lusky. Uh, thank you, Chief Burns. 
Uh, fellow citizens, Griffin Rock is poised on the verge of a wonderful tomorrow. A tomorrow full of tourists coming to our island to see the rescue bots. We'll be the number one destination in the world. New hotels, new shops, new economic opportunities. Mayor, may I say why I think that's a bad idea? If people beyond our island find out, it could do untold damage, both to Griffin Rock and to the bots. Now, now, why should we care about them? They're aliens! Milo, seeing as how they just saved you from aliens, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, how do we know they weren't working together? Huh? Conspiracy! The bots should be forced from Griffin Rock now! Cody. Uh, maybe we should see what the bots have to say. Hello. My name is Blades, and I'm an alien. Hi, Blades! I have a little speech prepared to- Perhaps, as our leader, Heatwave should be our spokesperson. Me? Uh, well, um, all we really want is to be left alone, to do our jobs. What the? What Heatwave means is, we've grown to know most of you pretty well, and now it's your turn to get to know us. Uh, as long as it does not interfere with our original mission, to learn to work with humans while protecting them. And becoming a tourist attraction would make both those jobs hard. Um, yeah, that's what I meant. And if the rest of the world were to find out about us, it could result in our assignment coming to an end. We would have to leave Earth for good. <gasps> no, 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 why should we have to go? Oh, it looks please. like public sentiment is on the bot side, Mr. Mayor. Well... Yes, but... Oh, for sure. Back in the old days, when we did things the democratic way, any courageous mayor would have put this up to a vote. That's oh, a great yeah. idea. What? <laughs> well, no one can say that H.P. Lusky is unfair. We'll have a vote. Tomorrow, same time, right here. And before that, if any of you have any questions about where we came from or who we are... Yeah! We could have a sort of get-to-know-your-bots session. What do you say, guys? I have been wanting to get gardening tips from Mrs. Rubio. Everyone is invited to spend time with the bots tomorrow morning before the vote. Until then, we'll keep their secret. Right, Huxley? I... Okay. It is not okay! Vote or no vote, Griffin Rocks is not big enough for four giant robots and us! My emergency shelter in the woods is stocked and ready for a situation just like this. Who's with me? Ah, you'll be sorry when they start eating you! Okay, we have to make them understand we don't eat. Blades, what are you doing? Ah, uh, signing photos of myself. Since everyone knows about us, I'm starting a fan club. All celebrities have them. What, do you think we're celebrities now? Like it or not, we must bear the burden. Hey, why don't we all start fan clubs and see who gets the most members? Not that I think I would win, but I would. We don't need any more distractions. We need to concentrate on our rescues. The meeting today was bad enough. Hey, I thought this is what you wanted, not to have to pretend in front of everybody anymore. Yeah, but all these new BFFs are a little more than I bargained for. I miss my alone time. Ah! I believe I finally understand the human phrase, be careful what you wish for. Ow! My wrist is starting to hurt. Well, maybe if you didn't write, from your best rescue friend, Blades the Copter Bot, best wishes always, and just sign your name. You still working on that thing? I thought we agreed the ground bridge is a low priority. It'll make building the training center easier. Besides, it's what Optimus wants. We're minutes away from a test run. Let's see if they're ready on the other end. Salvage? Looking good. Hey, Servo! How are they treating you over there? He's been a big help. <sighs> More gifts. <laughs> Boats sure have been friendly. I'm almost certain everyone will vote to keep your secret, but this event tomorrow will help make sure. Maybe we should sit down with your team and plan something, Heatwave. Um, sorry, Chief. This ground bridge is high priority. But you just said... <clears throat> oh, right. Optimus's orders. For the next few days, your time might be better spent building a bridge to the community rather than to the mainland. <laughs>
We'll be happy to help once we complete this test run, Chief. Hey, cut the gab. I'm all revved up with some place to go. <sighs> you know, I thought that once Blur became a rescue bot, he'd be less annoying. Wrong. Ready on our end. Blur, slow down. More presents for the bots. Watch out! Ouch. Ground bridge works. Good stop, hot shot. And the balloons are a nice touch. Ugh, sorry about that. Ooh, believe me, really sorry. Test one complete. A successful run. Let's go for the round trip. Yeah, just give me a second to clear my intakes. I think I'll be walking through this time. I would like to make the journey as well to test the communication links from the training center. Cody, Frankie. Like to see what we've been up to over here? Can we, Daddy? As long as you ride inside the bots, just to be safe. Noble. I uh, better come along to, you know, make sure things are going according to plan. I'm sure getting out of Griffin Rock has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Wow, it looks kind of the same. Huh, not much different than when we first scanned our vehicles here. Though I believe the scaffolding is a recent addition. That's the idea. From the outside, it'll look like it always has. All the big work is going on underground. Optimus's plans call for it to be a sort of a building in disguise. A multi-level facility, rescue simulation rooms, Living area, launch and landing pad. And we've been talking about adding a race course. You've been talking about it. It's not an Optimus's blueprints. Yeah, well, I'm sure he meant to put it in. Probably just forgot. Optimus envisions this as a place that all rescue bots, present and future, could use as a base of operations. And the communication center? Come on, I'll show you. I can't awesome. wait! Awesome! So, anyone who joins my fan club will get the photo, a membership card, and a CD of the official club song. You wrote a song? You'd be surprised at how few words rhyme with awesome. E, Echo, F, Foxtrot. I have been wondering about that. Do foxes actually trot? I'll explain later, partner. The calm works loud and clear. Come on back, we have patrols to run. Salvage, let us know when they leave. Uh, well, he did. They're not there yet? Oh, dear. If they're not here, where are they? What happened? First guess? That ground bridge needs a little more testing. My comm link is useless. Let's see if I can get a cell signal. Cody, where are you? We were hoping you could tell us. Is Frankie with you? Here, Daddy. I'm okay. Thank goodness. Sit tight, my little nomad. We'll triangulate your signal and try to find you. I don't know how this could have happened. The ground bridge is a dedicated two-way link between the firehouse and the training center. It's impossible to go anywhere else. Apparently not. We have a sandstorm to prove it. According to the coordinates, you appear to be somewhere in northern Africa. The Sahara? Cool. I mean, under different circumstances. We'll figure out what went wrong and get back to you as soon as we can. Not too long. The wind's whipping up. 
The sand feels like nails on my metal. Oh, oh, oh dear. Yeah. Thank you, Heatwave. Don't thank me yet. We're still in the middle of this. Hang on. Follow me. Okay. Now you can thank me. Oh, just in time, too. Looks like your water reserves are out. Is it just me, or is it getting kind of hot in here? We must search for shade and water for Francine and Cody. <gasps> Look! An oasis! Wait, is that a car? Probably a heat mirage. What would a car be doing out here? We're here. Ugh, you're right, the heat's making me see things. <laughs> Can it make you hear things, too? <gasps> Sand monster! I wasn't aware such creatures existed. They don't. At least not on this planet. Is everyone functional? I'm all right. Whew. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, sounds like I might have a sand wedgie, but other than that, okay. <laughs> Perhaps vehicle mode will prove more successful. Stand by, Francine. The sand makes it impossible to gain traction. Yeah, kinda noticed that. Good news, the ground bridge is working and locked onto your coordinates. That's great, Boulder, but we're not at those coordinates anymore. Yeah, we ran into a little trouble. Can you return to your original position? It took us so long to get the ground bridge running. I'm afraid it's just too risky to try to reprogram it again. Give us five minutes, then push the button. Got it, see you in five. Heatwave, while I share in your wishful thinking, I see no way out of our predicament. Curse our useless wheels. One of us doesn't need wheels. Aha! Brilliant thinking! All aboard! Ow! Watch where you step. Oh, sorry. The power up and energize! My wedgie's gone. Too bad we can't say the same about the storm. Couldn't have put it on this side of the sandstorm. It takes more than swirling silicon particles to stop a rescue bot. the ground bridge. <laughs> Looks like we'll be making a donation to the zoo. Any idea why the bridge failed? It didn't really fail. It, it just didn't work as planned. Until we can figure it out, no more trips to the training center. Probably just as well. Now we can concentrate on the vote tomorrow. Griffin Rock emergency. Chief, I was at Milo's making a delivery, a year's supply of peanut butter, and, and he's trapped. Looks like the whole hillside's come down on top of his shelter. Let's go, team. Are you sure Milo will let us dangerous aliens save him? It is not up to him. Our mission is to serve and protect humans, even if they don't like it. <sighs> then rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Grant, Boulder, clear the hatch! Blades, lower away. Guys, look out behind you. Uh, hurry up, Cade. Are you 
all right. Oh, look at all the dirt you let fall. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Hey, now I can be as snarky to everybody as you are. Maybe this out in the open stuff isn't so bad, huh? Worth reconsidering. So I guess that means you'll be chipping in tomorrow. Glad to hear it. Kids love fire truck rides. Oh. Mr. Bunty, are you from Griffin Rock or did you settle here? Though we may come from different planets, our respect for law and order binds us. Here then are some safety rules garnered from different systems we visited. <sighs> Who wants to go inside a bot? That's right, step right up one at a time, please. Join the Blades the Copter Bot fan club, free of charge. Free photo of yours truly. <sighs> free rides. Who wants to ride in a helicopter? Oh, I do. I like to fly. Attention, please. It's time for the big vote. See you all in City Hall. Okay. Folks, please. Has everyone had a chance to see the plan? All right, people, stop talking. Before we vote on this, I just want to say one thing. These rescue bots might be aliens, and they might be big and clumsy. Who is she calling clumsy? But they've kept our biscuits from burning time and time again. They've earned the right to keep their secret. We owe it to them. And Mr. Pettipaws will fight anybody who says differently. <sighs> well then, all in favor of keeping the bot secret, and saying goodbye to economic opportunity in a new era in Griffin Rock. Raise your hand. Him. Put up, keeping my eyes on you. <sighs> well, there's no fighting a rising tide. Mr. Prescott? As a journalist, I'm impartial. <laughs> all right, all right. I won't file my story. <sighs> Goodbye, Network News. Then it's decided. We will all help keep the bots secret from the rest of the world. On behalf of them, I just want to say thank you oh, and... Oh, Chief, we can speak for ourselves now. In fact, I have a speech prepared. Thanks, everyone. We're depending on you now, just like you can still depend on us. We will continue our mission as we always have. The only difference is that you may now feel free to interact with us on a personal level. Not too personal. Oh, I don't mind. We can all get as personal as you want. Pictures for everybody! <laughs> Has anyone seen my oscilloscope pen? <laughs> Beep! Weep! Beep! Cece! Where did you get that? You're gonna ruin it. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Here. She didn't mean to upset you, Frankie. <sighs> I know. She's just learning by exploring her environment. It's a sign of genius. I don't believe I tried to eat my first oscilloscope until I was four. <laughs> Incredible. I've never seen a child grasp sequencing that fast. Both of our daughters are growing up to be quite accomplished. Quite right. How is the travel mug heart monitor coming, Frankie? <gasps> Amazing! I built an electrocardiogram into the handle so you can actually see what a jolt your coffee gives you. My data shows... <laughs> I'll tell you later, Dad. Hey, Frankie, what's up? Oh, Cece tried to eat my equipment again and ruined breakfast. It's so frustrating. I love her, but sometimes she's really hard to like. I totally understand. I grew up with Cade, remember? Where are you? With Blades. He's racing Heatwave to see who's a faster rescuer. And losing Blades Hustle. I am. Whose idea was it to do this in bot mode? Someone said I could run circles around you, Heatwave. I didn't mean run, run. There's a target. Go straight. Nope, we're going up. Frankie, can I call you back? Ugh. 
Cullen is not going to be happy. Neither will Chief. We have to stop that rocket. Heatwave, the fire's spreading. Use your foam sprayers. I didn't load up before we left. This was only supposed to be a fake emergency. We need to evacuate those houses and call for backup. And move the rocket before it catches fire and explodes. That I can do. Everyone, get to safety. Help is already on the way. Remember, children, public safety is in your hands, so make sure you wash them thoroughly. Oh, pardon me, pupils. This is Chase. Go ahead. There's a rocket fuel fire at Mr. Collins' house. We need fire extinguishers fast. Copy that. My apologies. I must cut my career day presentation short. Three hours barely touches the surface of law enforcement. Thank goodness. Oh. Okie dokie. Now that everyone has read A Tale of Two Cities, who would like to start the discussion? Mr. Boulder, we ask that everyone turn their phones off during book club, if you please. Sorry, Miss Lima. I'll be quick. Boulder, where are you? We've got an emergency downtown. It was the best of timing. It was the worst of timing. Be right there, Heatwave. Keep away from the fire. Away. I think people would know that. Heatwave, I have supplies. Power up and energize. At least the fire's out. But at what cost? Not our finest hour. I guess I shouldn't ask who won the rescue race, huh? No. Thanks to us, everybody lost. Let me get this straight. You set up a race downtown in the middle of the day to show your fan clubs who's a faster rescuer? When you say it out loud, it really sounds like a bad idea. Look, I know you're excited to fit in with the townsfolk, but that doesn't mean neglecting your rescue duties. It's fine to have hobbies, we all do, but the job comes first. Sorry, Chief. We'll clean up the damage, and it won't happen again. Thank you, Heatwave. Don't feel bad, guys. Balancing a social life and a job is even hard for humans. Well, it won't be a problem for us, because from now on, we're only focusing on our mission. To learn from the humans? <sighs> to protect them, and train other rescue bots to do it, too. Boulder? You figured out what's wrong with the new ground bridge yet? No. Doc's coming to look at it when I'm done with book club. I mean, uh, I'll call him now. I don't understand it. All the settings are correct. This device should go straight to the mainland. Maybe we should try to replicate what went wrong last time. All we did was turn it on. Here goes. Wait, who knows where that portal leads to? Let's send someone more expendable. Go dither. Those? Uh, maybe later. Go through there. Now, 
Let's see what Dither sees. He's at the mainland training center. Dither, come back. It worked. Maybe we'd better give it a few more tries, just in case. You heard the bot, Dither. He went to the right place every time. Perhaps the desert incident was simply a one-time bot, and not the good kind, like a honeybee. I'll let the team know. Hey, Frankie, the ground bridge is working again. Wanna come see? Wish I could, but I'm babysitting. Bye-bye. Why can't you play with your toys? Uh, you better thank your brothers and sister for what they had to put up with when you were little. If you're sure the bridge is ready, I'll test it out. From what we've observed, there's a 99.9% .9 chance it'll work. And a 0.1% chance it won't. I'm just saying. Then I too shall be a guinea hog. It's guinea pig, Chase. But good idea for two of you to go. Rescue bots. Roll to the mainland. Or perhaps not main at all. Ah! Those rails will not hold that car much longer. Can we save lives now and explain later? Is back. Let's go. Definitely not fixed. As my fellow robot said, that is correct. Chase, why are you talking like someone followed the bots through the portal? Hello, I'm Police Chief Burns. I know it sounds strange, but I think our technology accidentally brought you here. Uh, why don't you step outside? Hello? Hello? <gasps> By Mendel's Peapods. There's nobody there. The driver must have exited his vehicle to assist with the rescue. Then the bridge pulled the car in after us. Like the camel from the desert. Only we can't take this to the zoo. What do we do with it? I'll see if I can find the owner from the plate records. For now, I don't want anybody using this tech till we know what's wrong. If you need to go to the mainland, use the ferry. There's plenty to keep us busy here, like rescue drills in the garage. Let's go. Oh. It's time to get serious about our jobs. From now on, we only leave this place for emergencies. I guess we could start our own book club here at the firehouse. You'll be lucky if you have time to read anything. From now on, we're doing double patrols. Outstanding. Thank Primus for DVR. Everyone, grab a lobbing ball. We're doing burpees. Heat wave. This is the 20th time I've flown around the island. There are no emergencies. Then fly around 21 times. We're not going back to the firehouse until we find one. Boulder, report. Any action in your part of town? Nothing. I even went to fix a leaky fire hydrant on Chestnut, but somebody already had. It is surprisingly quiet out. Even Don is obeying the speed limit. Keep patrolling. It's Griffin Rock. Something's bound to happen soon. Thanks for keeping me company, Cody. Babysitting can be kind of stressful. No problem, Frankie. It sounded like you could use a break. Oh, definitely. I am so over diaper changing. But CC can be fun sometimes, too. Yesterday, I taught her the twos times tables. Seriously? CC, what's two times five? Dang 
<laughs> wow, she really is a baby genius. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to teach her multivariable calculus. Did you see that? Yeah. Whoever's driving that sports car is pretty brave. That's the thing. Last time I saw that car, it didn't have a driver. Griffin Rock Emergency. Graham, can you check if the car that came through the ground bridge is still there? Where else would it be? I think we just saw it downtown. Hold on, I'll check. You were right, the car's gone. Someone must have stolen it. At least they haven't left the island yet. I'll call Dad. Heatwave, I have spotted a vehicle that is double parked. Now that's an emergency. At this point, it kind of is. Nice find, Chase. Take care of it. The sports car from the bridge. What? It's there? And it has beaten me to the sugary fruit drink. Don't let it leave. We're coming. Thank you for your assistance, citizen. Please pull over. Stopped cold turkey. I suspect foul play. Get back to the firehouse team. Our ground bridge stowaway is missing and I want answers. I checked our security cameras. Nobody entered or left the firehouse last night. Uh, except the car. Somebody must have driven it out of one of the underground tunnels. That wouldn't show up on camera. But I thought you said there was no one inside of it. Not when we looked, but maybe they were hiding. Or maybe the car is remote controlled. What if it's Dr. Morocco? Quick, everyone look for an M logo somewhere. Why would Morocco move double parked cars? So far, this driver's only done good things. Except run away when told to stop, and hide from us, and spy long enough to learn our secret. I want everyone out looking for that car. Something strange is going on and- Dad, we really need your help. What is it, son? Cece figured out how to reprogram her hover stroller, and we don't know where she went. Cece! Tell Frankie not to worry. We'll find her sister right away. Thanks, Dad. We'll keep looking, too. Ugh, Cece's too smart for her own good. I should have been more careful. Wait! Frankie, I see her. She's headed into the bank. Can you open the vault? Oh no! Security mode is engaged! Doc Green designed the lock so that nobody can override it! Daddy, Cece hacked her stroller and locked herself in the bank vault. We can't get her out. I'm really, really sorry. I know you are, Frankie. And it's not your fault. But how did she learn the lock code in the first place? I made it a very difficult pattern of colors and sounds. The same pattern you used when you created Cece's toy? Uh, oh, my. I believe the scientific term for that is oops. Don't worry, Doc. Help just got here. Hurry, she's in there. You have to break down the door. Time to embrace your inner wreckers. On three. Three. Power up and energize! I have heard an Earth tale about a door that unlocked when told, Open Sesame. Open says me! Cece? Cece! Where is she? Look! 
Cece must have gone out that way. She can dig tunnels too? That baby's smart and strong. No toddler cut through five feet of solid metal. Ow! It's still hot. Boulder, can you tell where the tunnel ends? Of course, Chief. It's the parking garage on Maple Street. Blades, heat wave. I want you guarding that place above ground. Boulder, you're with me and Chase. Let's move, team. Did you hear all that, Doc? We'll meet you there. We're in place, Dad. Head in slowly. Just about to come through the tunnel. Well, well. Two mysteries meeting in the same place. Wait. You think Cece's in that car? But why? How? I just have a hunch. Odd. I've always thought Chief has excellent posture. <laughs> Cece! Oh, I'm never letting you out of my sight again, even if you ruin a hundred of my experiments. You're the best result I could hope for. I guess it's a big Come on, let's go see Mom and Dad. But who made the tunnel? And how did Cece get in that car? And where can I get one? What? Those are some sweet wheels. Too bad the driver got away before we could question him. What if the car is the driver? You mean, like a bot? Please, don't you think we'd know if we saw one? We all have pretty obvious markings. I'm Heatwave, leader of the rescue bots. Identify yourself. I'm waiting. Wait, what? Rescue bots? What a highly unexpected no, turn of events. No, a marking. Now will you identify yourself? You may call me Quick Shadow. So you're Heatwave. Hmm. Expected someone a little taller. You might want to shut those gobs. I hear this place has flobsters. Wouldn't want one flying right in, would we? Quick Shadow, I'm Chief Burns. Welcome to Griffin Rock. My only question is, why didn't you introduce yourself to us sooner? Not that we mind your help with the rescue. Sorry if I stepped on any toes. I was monitoring your town's cameras. When I saw the little girl get trapped, I had to act. As you did when you saw the car go over the bridge. It's what I do. I'm a solo agent, special ops, and used to working undercover, I'm afraid. I wanted to learn more about you all before I met you, even though Optimus said... You know Optimus too? Why didn't he tell us that? You know how primes are. He's the one who sent me here. Sent you? From what I saw, you hitched a ride on our ground bridge. Yes, I called it to me. Apologies for the dreadful places we kept meeting. The desert, especially. I thought I saw you there. Wait, you're the reason the ground bridge didn't work? Oh, it worked. I simply hijacked it whenever I could. Special tech Optimus loaned me. Yeah, I bet. Which is exactly why Optimus didn't just tell us about you. Ah, sarcasm. You'd be Cade, then. You know who we are? It was all part of my mission briefing. And what exactly is your mission? That is a tale in the telling. Well, as comfortable as this parking garage is, what do you say we head back to the firehouse? Sounds like this is gonna take a long time to sort out. Guess she doesn't need directions. You wanna ride with us, Cody? I'll meet you at home, Dad. So, maybe baby sisters or brothers aren't so bad? Ask me again when I'm picking cream corn out of my hair. <laughs> it's true. Cece has been quite a change for our family. But that doesn't modify our love for you. DNA of my heart? I know, Daddy. That's what it means to be a family. Plus the second law of thermodynamics. The entropy of the universe tends to a maximum. Um, that is, change is constant. I'm pretty sure the rescue bots would agree. <laughs>